We start prepping, I would say, Sunday for the week ahead. One of the things that we do is we break down film of ourselves from our previous weekend. We look at things that went well, things that maybe didn't go well. You know, there's film out there for everyone, so your opponents are going to kind of know what you did well, and they're going to try to attack your weaknesses. Let's have a good practice, guys. Oh, yesterday, that was great. Our Sundays are really built. As a staff, we're doing a lot of stuff digitally. We basically find the three or four things we think we can control, but we're also taking a look at to see what our opponents are going to look like that weekend, so that on Sunday night, we can build a practice plan leading up to it. So Mondays, realistically, is a day we focus heavily on ourselves, we do a lot of film, we do a lot of individual work. We try to, you know, get our, our touches back in, try to find a little bit more flow, but fix some things. Tuesday is usually our big heavy day, and that really is a lot of defense. You know, we've grown as this great blocking team is one thing that we want to make sure that we're mindful that we do every Tuesday, kind of harding that, that identity. And then Wednesday, Thursday, start turning to what things do we feel like we need to put more time in, knowing that we're going to play teams with different styles. And Thursday, we will do a full scouting report on our first opponent of the week. And then on the day of the match, we'll basically do one team session or we'll rewatch basically a full set of who we're playing. And then we'll break out by positions. So a lot of our athletes are rewatching themselves practice during that week at night where they can tag us and they can let us know what we see. And, you know, so it, it really is, um, you know, a 24 hour kind of seven day a week kind of process for us as a staff. Every day after practice, we scale our different focuses from one to five, five being the highest. I think it keeps us focused during practice on each of our individual skills, knowing the things that we need to get better on so that we can be constantly improving throughout the season. Since I took over the program, one of the things I told the team I wanted to be really mindful of, whether we're playing the worst team in the country or the best team in the country, we want to prepare the same way. You know, that to me is having respect for the game, respect for the opponent. You know, I don't expect to win, I don't expect to lose. I'm trying to get us to be the best that we can possibly be. And so we judge ourselves on how we perform, not necessarily if it was a win or a loss. We feel like, you know, we do what we need to do, you know, uh, the results will come for themselves. I'm proud of the progress we've made. I tell them every day, it's about us raising our standard, raising our bar, and we gotta just keep pushing where we're at.